How to write fractions between two numbers? This is what we will investigate now. Write two fractions between 2 over 5 and 3 over 5. No decimal numbers. Now what could be there between 2 over 5 and 3 over 5? Well, both 2 and 3 are consecutive numbers. In between and without decimals, how can I do that? Well, we can do one thing. We can multiply both numerator and denominator by 2 and write down equivalent fractions and then see. If I multiply both numerator and denominator by 2, what do I get? I get 4 over 10 and 2 times 3 is 6. So I get 6 over 10. So what I did is I made equivalent fractions with higher denominator times 2. But when you do times 2, you get 4 and 6 in the numerator. I could write only one number in between. That is 5 over 10, right? So 5 over 10 is one number, but I need two fractions. Now, what should I do? Well, we can again multiply by 10. Not a bad idea. So let's do that. So let's multiply again by 2. In that case, what do we get? 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 over 20. How about 6? 6 times 2 is 12. We get 12 over 20. And now we can write quite a few fractions in between, right? So what are the fractions in between 8 over 20 and 12 over 20? Well, the fractions could be 9 over 20, right? 10 over 20. We wanted 2, but we can write even 3. 11 over 20, right? Like this. You can keep on writing fractions between any two fractions, right? And this process can continue, right? If you continue, you can write many fractions between any two fractions. Do you see that? So, what was the trick involved? Trick is write equivalent fractions. Right? Write equivalent fractions with higher denominator. And then you can write many fractions between them with higher denominator, right? So that is the trick involved. If you write equivalent fractions with higher denominators, then you can write many more fractions in between. So we'll use this strategy once again to write many fractions between any two fractions. Thank you.